Tabletop News with five-time Emmy Award winning Jay Bekelek. James Holleran, Useless Information. Dan Dealer on Research. It's your reporter in the field, Sam Norton. This is Tabletop Tuesday, bringing you your wargaming news. Tabletop Tuesday. As you can notice, Jay's not here. Once. Two holiday. He's, he's, he's not here. Yeah, he's not here. Uh, how's everyone feel about that? He's dead. Yeah, he died. He died doing um, Get It Painted. Uh, the Do next Kickstarter we're going to do is to... Uh, Get his coffin bill. <laughs> for, just, get it, for, just, for just one pound a month, get, you can it's, donate. It's it's get, get it buried. buried. Get it buried. Yeah. <laughs> so for the initial pledge, it's five pounds, you can get a nail. For ten pounds, you can have your name inscribed into the coffin and a small plank of wood purchased. For ten pounds a month, you can actually hit the nail in the coffin. Yeah, yeah. Well, he can get you here so you can we'll do get it. Get you here. <laughs> He's actually He's really um, He's... at his daughter's first activity play, so yeah, yeah. Not here nerding it up. So, yeah. so, talking about Christmas, GW have brought out their Christmas holiday boxes. So Yay. let's look at them. We should have right here, like a little segue. Like, Whoa! And then, like, the stream is oh coming God, down. <laughs> look at all this money you can spend! <laughs> right, we have The Restless Dead. So, oh, that's cool. Well, we've got Vampire Counts, Witch King, that's, oh no, White King, Black Knights, and that lot. What else? Bring them more, more, more. The Black, uh, the Black Knights are also yeah, Dark Elves, the yeah, and the Pirate King. Yay! Well, this, this, well, this one's uh, slowly going past. It's going down. Yeah, that one's going to go down there. <laughs> it's like conveyor belt. It's yeah, like, yeah. It's like the generation oh, game. Remember what you see. Kind of Slaughter brute. The big guy on the front. Oh, this is quite a, quite a thick box. We've got all of the big demons. Well, not demons. Creatures of the waste. Um, What's that remind me of? That thing there. That's really cool. Imagine if Resident Evil 2. Creatures of the Waste. Creatures of the Chaos Waste. Oh, right, Chaos Waste. That was a Yeah, not the Waste. This is a Chaos right. Beast, right? Um, right. Tau! Tau. Lots of battle suits. Tau now. Many battle, battle suits in the world. How much AKA is this? AKA Pacific Rim. Uh, lots of money. Yeah, they're about, I think they're about £80. Pounds. Uh, but you've got the, the Red Tide and then six broad tides, because why the hell not? Well, yeah. We think yeah. that's £80. Pounds. Really? Oh, that can't be No, that's not like 80 quid. No, it's fairly good for its money. You get... Quite a bit here. If that's eighty pounds, then I'm playing. It, tower, might, yeah. it might not be eighty, <laughs> but I know. Surely it's the riptides are like forty quid each. Pretty damn good for its. And then it's like you've got broadsides. Are the broadsides coming? Absolute crap. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Are the broadsides coming? I think, I think they're. Things, no, I think they are. More expensive. No, yeah, don't put that there. They are a song. <laughs> <money. laughs> this is why we need Jay. Yeah. yeah. No, he it's fine. Uh, add, add an extra a hundred pounds onto whatever he says. Well, that's Elder. Elder. Yeah, so we've got the Wraith Knight, and then also a ton of Wraith Guards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wasn't this released ages ago? Yeah, yeah, they are still the Christmas boxes. They're the Christmas boxes. They released early, just in case. Just in case. Because yeah. yeah. your local games or shop store is probably shoving them down your throat right yeah. now. Yeah. So, Storm Eagle and Storm Talons. Lots of flyers. Yep. And we did a review I still this. don't like the Storm Talons. That's just something about them. They need like more them. wings. Yeah, more more big wings. Ah, yeah. this thing. We did a review on this, didn't we? Yeah, I yeah, yeah I have one of them. So, they're yeah, the standard. New Battle Force. Yeah, then they get everything Battle Force. I'm looking for something to symbolise how many Fs I give about all of that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it. Oh, look, a blister pack with an empty blister pack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't like Games Workshop. I'm, I'm sure you've noticed that. Right? You've probably realised that if you watch yeah. this more than once. <laughs> uh, right, next up we have Firestorm Armada. Yay. All the version 2 stuff, and there's a lot of it. First off, this thing, like, we'll go into this a bit more later on, but you look at the size of this, you think, oh, it's, it's not a bad size. Then you get the price, which is, anyone know? £80. £80, and you go, ooh, £80. It's a bit pricey it's a big uh, if, if it's not Games Workshop, but then you feel the weight of it. You look at this, I'm going to find it. It's have a we got, hefty box. Have we got the dreadnought? You could knock out a boxer. Is there a dreadnought <laughs> in that? No, this, it's not this good. This is what no, you get. Yeah. So you, oh, you get uh, That's still quite big. one battleship per Terran Alliance and Dindrenzi, three cruisers, uh, four frigates, oh, uh, tokens, yeah. research station, and there's loads of other stuff as well, like rule books, etc. Et so you get a rule book in here as well. It, it's probably, yeah, I think there's only the hardback rule book, 
Right, so, Firestorm Armadas, Battles for Valhalla. Valhalla! What? Valhalla. It's not Valhalla. It's actually V up L H up L L up. Silence! It's just like a box. Yeah, it's, it's heavy, heavy it? it's heavy, it moves, it's going to be good. Other way, other way, other way. Yeah, that's what you He just opens it and he goes, oh, is that? Um, all right, okay. <laughs> wow, they're quite big. That's a lot of stuff. Yep. So got dice. Yay. More dice. More dice. Little dice. Oh, that's the that's fighter. Oh, oh, Dad, look. Dad, look. Asteroids. <laughs> Massive blocks of resin spaceship. Asteroid cardboard. <laughs> mm, well, then they're not That's important enough, really. Are what they? James? All <laughs> oh, right, Gale. So. You don't necessarily need uh, like proper resin. Yes. Okay. Asteroid scale no. force nine do a range of. That's resin really asteroids. nice quality, though. This is the space station. Well, without its legs, that's huge. That's really cool. You could turn that into a ship. Actually, I think these are Dan. You, you know what these would be. Oh they my God! They are the little tiny. Frigates for the Terran Alliance. This is all resin as well. Like normally, Gen Z frigates as well. Normally, all of the frigates are metal, but the new ones apparently are resin. This is just a block of resin. I don't even want these. Are they are the engines to engines for the Gen Z This massive block must be the Gen Z ship. Right. I haven't done the same on this one. That look very good. Right. And then you've got the mini of the small engines over there, have you? These ones. There must be more. Ah, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the engines were a little wrong. What the hell's going this on? Is what left. the hell is going this is on? Left. There we go. That this goes that way around. Yeah. That goes that way around. Oh, there's more stuff to go on this. Yeah, there's back Oh, right. The, engi <laughs> the engines get even bigger. You know, that's they're huge. They're not right, are they? No, no that's, that's, that's not right. Oh. Uh, wait, wait, is that we'll a, that's a battleship, isn't it? This is the new... When I There's two more engine bits that go on the back, but it's the new... That no, looks like the same size as the big. Dreadnought. That should, no, the Dreadnought's bigger. No, the Dreadnought's bigger. got it over there. Yeah, the Dreadnought's, that, the, the Dreadnought's bigger. That actually, it's this, but with two... I know, yeah, it's got two rail bits, but they, they kind of, you know... It's, it's only a little bit smaller. Why have why you put Millennium Falcon? It's bigger than the Millennium Falcon. <laughs> what's the Millennium Falcon? No. What's um, the Millennium Falcon? <laughs> Ah, oh, that, that'll probably be the these, I like these. I like the small one, these ships, the small Dendrenzi. Are these the frigates as well, or these? These are the cruisers for the yeah. So, slightly smaller than the better ship, but it's still pretty cool. Like, again, these are just giant guns. Giant rail guns! Guns with holes. Oh, that's huge. What is that? Shit. That is the brand new Terran Alliance battleship, which is amazing, and I need to get one. Like... I need to get me some of these. Yeah, I've got a little bit that goes on the underside as well. I'm not entirely what sure. What are they? Those cards What's those card bits? Uh, turning templates. Ah, oh, you've got four coloured templates. They're not plastic, just cardboard. They're just card. They're really cool. And as well, you don't have to cut them out yourself. They're actually... Yeah, pop they're, they're perforated, which is nice. Which is cool. Uh, network overload... Uh, no, tokens. Markers and so tokens general and tokens, all in card again. Quite crew and hole really markers. Nicely printed. Which is really good. Oh, which is, uh, what are they? Yeah, all perforated. Nice Don't have to cut them Those out. Those are the acrylic parts for the space station. Yep. Yep. So acrylic legs there. Quick rule book. That's nice to work. Oh, that's a scenario, yeah. scenario book. Scenario book. So it's all the Battle of Valhalla stuff. Oh, okay. So if you want to do the scenarios for Battle of Valhalla, that's in there. Command cards, I would assume. Yep. Actually, Regular playing card size as well, so you can put them uh, in the same uh, sleeves as many matches of gathering cards in. Uh, fancy photo sleeves, they're really good. Yep. yep. And a hardback. Yeah, and a hardback rule That's book. really good. Like we had earlier. Hardback rule book. So you get all of this. I'm just mesmerised. Yeah, it's got all the stamps in here. Yep. There's, this, there's that. Oh. oh. After I broke its engine. Oh, the back's in here. It's, yeah, it's got um, two bits off as well. Two yeah. other bits that's supposed to go onto it. Yeah, the, like this isn't the entire thing. Uh, like the same with the Dendrenzi one. So many there's pieces, but. So many bits, so and much it's resin. huge, and there's resin everywhere. Look at the detail. You get the sides of the look, look at the detail in it, though. It's so cool. Oh. Detail is ridiculous. That detail. We, should, we should just put a segue picture in there. <laughs> Thanks for you for the sound effects. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> what are they? 
close up of the tokens. Oh, yeah, you got as one of the bomber tokens. Bomber tokens and fighter tokens. And what's that launch fighter strip token in your hand? That's that strips from the, the top of the. Oh right! Oh, it's where all the because on top of the uh, battleship cruise. All so, oh, and a massive bag of flight stands and flight bases. Yeah. That's all of the. That is it, guys. Price, that is one minor. big mess. And that is why you would like to buy this. It's, it's a lot of resin, awesome. <laughs> and we need to get that. Yep. Yeah. Show you. I quite like the look at what they've done with the um, Aquam Prime, actually. Right. Shall we go through the Nathan side? First off, yeah, Aquam Prime. Prime. I like it because a lot of their stuff was just like it. It reminds me of Starfleet in a way yeah. from Star Trek. I think. Like, you know the some of the original battleships that they had. Yeah. See, whenever I look at these, I just think B five. I always think Babylon five. and looking at most <laughs> of these fleets. That's the um. The uh, Vorlons, just like the Vorlon fleet. You can see they've given more uh, shape. You see um, a lot of reference to everything <laughs> else. Like Spartan mean. games are just like, I love B5, I love Battlestar Galactica, I love Star Trek. We're going to make all of these guys in five star fleets. So, all of the patrol fleets, from what I can see, uh, anything that had a version 2 ship, especially the Aquans, they've been replaced. So, these, all the patrol fleets are the new kind of. Battle fleets, I'm presuming. Yeah, uh, and as well, you have bomber and fighter tokens in there, and then you get the tiny little dice. I was going to say, speaking of like we said, Babylon Five. Remember the original, original series. Where's the scanning games? Don't they work kind of like little um, pretty sure fighters? Like, pretty sure there's only one one set of series. For, yeah, right. No, I'm on about as in like I think it was like Terra or something. No. They're awesome. So in you that, that uh, uh, sorry, <laughs> silence with your nerd talk. <laughs> <laughs> It's only one B five, okay. <laughs> in this again, it's the Mark II. You don't get any fighters or bombers, but you get more frigates. Sounds like they should have gone away. Yeah, I should have. I should have just got up and walked down. Uh, and as well, the cruiser the, comes with a heavy cruiser upgrade. Which all is all of the cruisers come with a heavy. Well, they come with one heavy cruiser one. upgrade, so you can so get a mixed squadron of a few a few light cruisers and a heavy cruiser. Uh, Cerulean, again. Uh, oh, the, the heavy the heavy cruiser component. That's a big. Component. Are you yeah. gonna put pictures up over our pieces for this? Uh, they probably yes. can't see it from here. Yeah, we'll put up the pictures of all the different fleets so you can have a, a look at them. These ones, look awesome. these ones remind me of um, Alien Alien Resurrection, the big ship at the beginning. The Indrenzi Federation. Uh, if you didn't know, they're just giant rail guns with engines put onto them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's the most apt way of describing them. It's like a space opera, doesn't it? It looks quite similar. Not yeah, base, it, it, it kind of looks like them. Going off of everyone else's. Um, I, this reminds me of this. This reminds me a lot of the ships from Halo. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they're right. very close. Uh, you started painting up a Halo fleet, didn't you? Or was it Jay? I think oh, it was Jay. Jay started painting up these as Halo. I, 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 I played one, 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 one of those games. Never played I painted mine as the Caldari from EVE Online, which is probably more nerdy. Nerd. <laughs> <laughs> right, what's next? Well, if you play EVE Online, that's so wrong with you. Uh, the Directorate. Yeah, they just... These are the ultimate bad guys, yeah. and they look like the Covenant. They just look. Yeah. They are. They are a bit like the Covenant. Like very, very. What is with the color scheme? Um, I don't know. It's different. They were kind of like very like like a green, like a dark green, weren't they in the original ones? Yeah, but I, I actually played with these actual ones on the on the packet at Spartan Games, which is quite cool. So, so first one either. Is it literally just space battles, or is there any like space to ground? Um, no, they're, no, they're bringing it in. At some point, uh, they're planning on bringing out uh, something that's uh, Planetfall, which is very much the same as uh, Drop Zone Commander. Uh, so you got the ten mil stuff, and as well, I think they also said they're going to go into the twenty eight mil, very much like the dystopian legions. So you're going to ha be able to have the big space battles, then uh, launching down. So you've got all of the, the ground battle, and then you have the small close quarters inside the kind of in, this? in the cities. So quite a big storytelling kind of aspect. Yeah, that's possible. Cool. In these new box sets, you get like the token things as well, don't you? Yeah, in so that's some, of them. So, in so, some, some of, them. of them you have bombers and fighters, some of them you don't. I'm not entirely yeah. sure why some do and some you don't. You're putting all this down here. Some some get bombers. Because some of them in room. Some of the uh, Mark II I think it's have fighter wings. Does this tactics. I like this one. That looks cool. Are. They look cool. I, I like, like the, the colour scheme. I, think. I love the colour scheme. But yeah. So. And the book. Oh, the yeah. Book. New hardback. Brand new rule book. Uh, what was they changed it? I mean, um, 
I, I've never played Rule 1, Most uh, I've never played Rule 2. They've, What's um, they've condensed the Mark 2 and the Mark 1 versions of the ships into one stat pool. So the yeah. Mark 2 frigates will be the same as the Mark 1 frigates. The Mark 1 battleships the same as Mark 2 battleship. Um, mm. They've added what um, ran not random. You've like, got it, um, terrain effects. yeah. You have, you have trains, so like asteroid fields, planets, that sort of stuff. They actually at the beginning of the game you roll to see uh, what like kind of whether it moves clockwise or anti-clockwise, and you can actually have them orbit, uh, uh, which was interesting for when we played it because my ship got hit with an asteroid. They don't randomly just take, change direction. They're just no, like they stay in the same orbit, and then each turn, uh, at the end of the turn, you roll um, to see how far they move. Okay. So, so it, it depends on, so they can move a small amount, or they can just go straight around. And no, that's the side of the it should just be a set amount of move. Because like, you, you don't get asteroids in space, you just go, ah, oh, this time, in the next six seconds, I decide to go five miles per hour, but next turn I'm going to go 27 miles per hour, I think. I think acceleration is a void in yeah. space. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. I think, I think it should just be like, we need a game, roll this, that's the speed it's going to go, this is the orbit it's going to take, and it just goes. Or it has just asteroids, because um, have you ever played, a, there's a board game called Space Truckers, the idea was you roll a, a location and an asteroid just went down the area, and it went straight down, if it hit your ship, your ship could fall apart. So I think they should do the kind of thing where like, an asteroid just comes off the side and just goes, it's going that direction. Straight across the back. Yeah, so it's going that direction. It's going as fast as you like, and then it hits your ship. Tough. <laughs> That's interesting, we might have to try that. Uh, yeah, so I mean, it's better than just having like a random asteroid that goes, ooh, I might go really, really slow. Like, ah! <laughs> you sort of you, you can defend that by saying that the turns aren't a set length, a set period in time. They can stretch between an hour or 50 minutes or 10 minutes or something like that. But then how can you fire the same button around enough to... I, I didn't make the game. That's exactly. It that's the, I, I think you should just have asteroids move the same speed. Maybe they're on a coffee break. During mid battle. <laughs> Could happen. Never know. You're just taking physics and just throwing it out the window. Uh, physics. <laughs> yeah. We're talking spaceships. Yeah. And spaceships. Massive space battle. We're talking. A ship that's just a cannon. Spaceships are legit. Asteroids moving when they're accelerating in space for no reason is not legit. <laughs> it could be an asteroid taken over. Giant cannon. <laughs> Spaceships powered by giant lizards. That's fine. Uh, <laughs> Do you move on a little bit? It could, it could be the asteroid from Star Wars. Side face got too much, maybe. It's fine. Same way. <laughs> We're going to open this up so you get to have a see what exactly is in there. Are we going to play with this though? What? Are we going to play with that now? Probably, yeah. Cool. We should get the table sorted out first then. Well, we're not going to play with it. Play with it right now. Let's play with it right now. No, I don't want to. No, it's fine. I'm trying to give you a segue right here. I'm trying to give you a segue to that. To what? Well, I think I know what it's on about because if we get it out, it's going to be all over the place and that's kind of what you would... Um, we'll we'll would unbox end. it at the end. I'm trying to give you a really good segue here, Dan, yes. to get the game of no to play against out. <laughs> fine. We'll do that and then we'll come back to opening this. Since Jay ain't here, and uh, the, the war yeah. game that no one wants to play against this week is, I'm sure we've, it, it, we've probably experienced it a few times. I've done it myself, I know I've done this. Well, you are at, terrible. At this yeah. store, right here is a terrible person. Do you know what? I've actually gone back and I've watched a lot of these afterwards, and I've noticed I've done that before, and I've done that before. I mean, the one we're about to do, <laughs> the one you're about to see, is, yeah. I've, I've had it done to me before I've gone to the table, I'm like, I want to play here. <laughs> what you're basically hearing is that he's a terrible person, never go have a game against him. <laughs> Not um, all of them, to be fair. But just most of them. Yeah, I don't use heraldry for my rules. I don't have a rule book, to be fair. Though. <laughs> I don't play a stupid game of codexes, so, yeah. you know. But you still don't have <laughs> <laughs> Right, the war game we normally play against this week is the guy who leaves all his stuff on the table so no one else can play. Ah, nice to see you guys. Nice to see you. Nice to finally have a game. We can't have a game on that. Ah. Thanks, Jay. Well... I guess we'll have to go, go home. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, the war game I know to play against. It's a terrible person. Yeah, why, I'm Jay? Sorry. Jay, why? Yeah. <laughs> you well, it's not necessarily so someone sorry. you can play against either, because there's no room no, to play against it's, them. it's gone. Mm -hmm. It's taken up all the room. Terrible people. I've actually well, I've finished the game, literally just go, oh, that's fine. My opponent has packed their models away, and then I've left my mare, done something else, and someone's gone, 
there's just no stuff here. I'm like, oh, okay, no, for a minute, don't worry. Finishing my other game, <laughs> it's like magic or something. I'm just like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'll leave it for five minutes, be fine. But no, I want to play now. I was like, oh, okay, then. Avoid him at all costs. Most people do. <laughs> forever um, alone, right there. Yeah, forever. Uh, <laughs> Malifo, uh weird, have brought out, uh, finally, we've got hold of the Death Marshals and Rotten Bells. More Death stuff. Marshals look really cool. They are. They, 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 both of these come in the uh, the earlier box sets, which was the Lady Justice and Seamus one. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Uh, but now you can buy them individually, so if you want more, or you just want to add them to your existing army. They or look, they it would be a different commander you can put them with, because you can put... Um, yeah. yeah, yeah, different commanders, anyone in the... It's a like, shame faction. that they're not part of the... Um, the Neverborn or the Ten Funders because they would look so cool with um, yeah, but they're on death. Death. I'm shame. I'm. It's so bad that X isn't with Y, James. That was what that comment the was. Thing is, yeah. <laughs> Don't bring algebra into this, is, Caleb. Do is, not bring it into these this. These are zombie, zombie courtesans. Exactly. Jacob Lynch brings out these weird undead mutated. Yeah, things. but he brings out but, demons. These are undead. These are zombies which have been raised, which have been resurrected by the resurrectionists. So he's they're not going to have born. <laughs> they, they've got enough thing. They've got, they've got the beckoners. Stick with your beckoners on yeah. like it. You've got the beckoners. Deal with it. I'm so sad X isn't in Y. Shut up! <laughs> and you're going to be complaining that these aren't in with some other group as well. Oh, I'm not the guild anyway. So no, no, why, are they, why are they not in the Blood Ravens chapter? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that'd be really cool with the blue. I really wish I had a white Get out. <laughs> no. Yeah, Death Marshals. <laughs> They're angels. They're sweet. We've seen them already, but they're damn. The new assassins. They're cool. Yes. Do you have the cards and stuff in them? Yes. Yes. Um, yeah. yeah, all of the second edition cards are put in with all of the new boxes. Like, if they brought out the box originally and it was a plastic, they put the second edition cards in all of the new uh, prints, so you're not using that. Uh, they, up to a certain point, they were using the old cards, but everything new and in the plastic box is now using <coughs> the second edition cards, so you're not out of date, which is good. You're still Speaking the old ones, of uh, date and weird, the rule books are delayed. Again. Oh. Again. Um, you, can, you can get the mini little one, yeah. but the big one you can't, yeah. basically because it's, it's apparently too, too heavy for them yeah. to post. <laughs> well, um, not, so, not so much no, post, no, but, but shit. Yeah, they, they, they ran out of the first printing right. so quickly because everyone went, oh my god, I love this. And then everyone was like, oh, weird, but oh, okay, well, uh, start printing some more then. And I've gone, oh, we, we printed so many, and so, like, we've ordered, people have ordered so many. Yeah. Like, stores have gone, we'll have 30, we'll have 300, we'll have 1,000. Yeah. They've gone, we can't ship you 1,000 because yeah. it will cost us so yeah. much money. So, <laughs> so you have a going by boat. Yeah. yeah. Lucky I've got my, uh, my book. Yeah. Uh, so, if you, you, know, you can get hold of the little tiny rule book that they're doing, yeah. Uh, like through Express. Tiny. Yeah, it's a small little one. Um, it's about this big. Um, wow. But the really big book, can't get hold of it. I don't know when they're going to be. It'll be the new year. It's a really yeah. nice book. We were supposed to get it before yeah. Christmas, but we weren't anymore. We'll have to get it in the new year. Really nice book. It is a good book. It's a shame. Um, to do with dates as well, Kickstarters. Yes. Yay. We've. Uh, Oh seen my lord! Very well in that case. For the others of you that haven't seen our Snappy Stencils Kickstarter, definitely check it out. Um, Glenn has been slaving movie. away designing so many different uh, new designs and cutting them out on the laser. Laser. And I'm, laser. I'm only allowed to leave the laser for tabletop Tuesdays. That's it. Uh, every other time he's over there, on the direction of coffee. He's never going home, that's it. He's just yeah. he, he's, 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 he's going to marry him. Yeah. I went to work, worked a 25 hour shift one day, next day got up after 30 seconds sleep and worked 25 hours again. <laughs> he's actually going to marry 25 hours a day, <laughs> eight days a week. <laughs> you know, I thought you loved the laser. But I don't turn my uh, work into my life. Your work into pleasure. No, no, no. Don't miss them. Um, <laughs> but yeah, um, we originally asked. For I think it was a thousand pounds for our yep. initial pledge. Mm -hmm. You guys saw I mean, that and and it. yeah, just, <laughs> just ran ran right right through that yeah. and constantly Crazy. going up. Uh, we're I think we're putting in constant updates and stretch goals. Uh, now no, no stretch goal. goals, no, no stretch goals, just just add-ons, add just add lots and lots of add-ons um, because it's proved to be very popular by you guys. 
We've had loads and loads of feedback from you guys as well about what you want and what you want to see. And if you, like, literally, you can't see it because right behind the camera, but there is a stack of stencils that we're trying out ourselves to see if you like them, if they work, and we're really going through it. We've got like, loads of models on the table. You've probably, you've probably seen them earlier, some models we actually use the stencils yeah. on. Yeah. Um, they look really cool. Just, yeah, we, we, we're really trying to get what you want, I mean, out there. Yeah, so if you've not seen anything on our like Kickstarter already that you think that might be a really good idea, like definitely comment. Um, give Pledge us first, idea. then comment. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you can't comment otherwise. Yeah, <laughs> uh, trapped. Give us your ideas, anything that you might like to see, anything what we've done and you might like to see differently, definitely uh, write, like, give us a comment on that because we, everything that we've done since the first initial ones have purely been uh, from your guys' suggestions because they've just been brilliant. Yeah. So, more, it happens yeah. in every Kickstarter, but like one person's comment you might not think is relevant, but you like it and then... 20 people go, oh yeah, I really like that stencil yeah. actually. Oh, that, that's yeah. actually really cool. Yeah, why didn't yeah, I think exactly. of that? Oh, that's great. And then that's what we've been thinking. It's like, oh, that's awesome. That's really simple. Why didn't we think of that? Yeah. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, right. And then we pass on the ideas that hit burns and then you've got to cut them all out. Yeah, and design. Yeah. yeah. So you guys got the easy job of just saying, I want this, I want that, I want this. I have to turn it into reality. Then I go, I want this, I want that, I want this. <laughs> and then burns cuts it out. <laughs> it's good. It's that's really how it works. And so off, off subject as well, but speaking about like suggesting things as well. I usually Where are you going with this games? I usually build stuff, don't I, on this yes. show now. So um I want basically people to, build, to suggest the, um, yes. things for me to build because this week obviously Jay isn't here and usually Jay's the one who goes, Oh James, we've had suggestions build this. I keep it on a leash as well. Yeah, yeah usually. I'm roaming free today. Well, we, yeah. we were 50-50 whether you are joining us, because him and Sam had to have a fight of who was going to be on the show today. Yeah. Uh, I, I stated my fight, dominance fight, and I was a, uh, rock, paper. <laughs> rock, paper, rock, scissors. paper, scissors battle. Uh, yeah, Sam, what? I don't know what's in that. Rock, paper, scissors, lizard, Spock. Rock, paper, scissors, lizard, Spock. <laughs> yeah. We had to have it explained to him at least 15 times. Um, he still didn't quite get it. What is it? But somehow he won. Yeah. I won't bother. Exactly. <laughs> it's kind of um, like my father Ted explained to Dougal about the cows that these are models and those are far away. Yes, yeah, of course. <laughs> just just leave. Um, <laughs> Moving on. Yeah, your so, laser yeah. house is not here. Why is it not here? Is it that one? Yeah, yeah. Fetch me get house. Both of them. Both. No, no. Just one, one of them. This one on the left. Yes. This one. Preparation. This one. This one. Yeah. This one. Yeah. I'm gonna kill it. I'm gonna kill it. I love this. House. So you might have seen before all of our other laser buildings. This is our next one. It's got two. It's got two I've, levels. Uh, it's two taken levels. Taken one and just smashed it on the top, and then given it a roof. Yeah, and put some pretty pictures on it. and some stairs. And we have stairs. It's good. Yeah. So, so what is this one? Story. Is there anything in this one? This, this is, is a this is a house. Oh, it's the bordello. Ah, the, the, the wild west bordello. Oh, you did glue the um the stairs. You yeah, beds. A bit of a yeah, in the house. So beds. <laughs> we really like making doll houses, so we thought, <laughs> why not put beds in as bar, well? Bar, bar, table. table, because we what need bordello a... is a bordello without beds in a bar? Ooh. Almost destroyed the roof. It's, I think it's a lot of things we have to put in because it's a good fun. These yeah, like uh, we have like, normally on the run we had like some space, so we decided, oh, yeah. we might as well put some accessories in there. So when do you think this one might be? Ready? Available. It, it's, um, I believe this one is available now. Available mm. now. Buy it now. Definitely have a look. Wild so Swords you can join, have this join the rest of your amazing Wild West scene. I'd love to get those little, little um, those uh, slave girl models that you can buy. Slave girl models, yeah. Put them on there, or even the uh, beckoners from. Um, had to bring the beckoners into it. <laughs> and the available <laughs> opportunity to mention the beckoners. I would have been involved. I would have been without involved. fail. What? Uh, Anything from Sunesh as well. Anything from Sunesh, that's true. Yeah. And then it'd be a very chaotic bordello. Yeah. Chaos is such a strong word. Chaos. <laughs> <laughs> Corn bordello. Exactly. <laughs> that no, that'd be more like a, that'd be like the uh, the slaughterhouse if it was corn. Out of what? Yeah, yeah. That's, the word. <laughs> that's the word. He'll get there eventually, yeah, I'm sure. I'm I think we're done. Sure. I, think we're, I think that's everything. I think, I think we're dragging on now. Aren't right, we? so Thank One. you guys for watching. Oh, well, you got something yeah, a little bit more. Bit more. Um, games Workshop teasers. Oh, it, well, not really Games Workshop, Forgot. 
Forge World. Main, well, yeah, mainly Forge World, but Games Teaser. Workshop has uh, teased some Hobbit things as well. Uh, yeah, but that's Hobbit stuff. Yeah. Like that. What? Yeah. No, 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 Hobbit stuff. Hobbit's good. Hobbit's coming out soon. Yeah. Next yeah, week, yeah, just yeah. a little bit. The Destination of Smart. Next week. Yeah. No, yeah. this week. Yeah. This week. The 13th, I'm pretty sure, isn't it? Today's I didn't put this week. for that. Yeah. I this I'm week! Not, ah! I'm not going to watch that. I actually, guys, spoilers, watch out. No one's going to go into that. Yeah, I I didn't book tickets for that. I am. Well, okay. I wonder if Louis would take it. I'm a bad nerd. Well, usually, we all, usually everyone goes, don't they? Everyone yeah, the group. Uh, yeah, the teasers. Um, so, Forge World, they have, they've uh, given you a little bit of a puzzle. Every, every now and again, they'll give you a link to a part of a picture. It's your job to find the bits of the picture and assemble them. Someone on Reddit, some very clever person on Reddit, has just gone through every link on the uh, Forge World website and found all the pictures and stitched them together. And they've, uh, yeah, <laughs> good old Reddit. Uh, they've stitched them together and found the identity of our new model. Um, it is Captain Typhon of the Death Guard Which before he fell to cool. chaos. Like I Ooh. saw the like, uh, bad bad thinking of it earlier. Very, very badass. Oh, I look so cool. He is, he's um, it's already one of the pictures up. He's standing on this huge, huge, huge resin plinth that. It's just a massive scenic base of a bit of a spaceship. Is he actually usable then, or is he just he, like he will be a yeah. dioramic? Well, well no, most of, most of all the new ones, especially like the Primarchs and the Horus Heresy, mm-hmm. like the main scenic base has a smaller little scenic base inside, and that comes yeah. out, and that's the usable one. Uh huh. So because they're actually doing the same thing. Up, Forge will bring out the rules for the Primarchs. So yeah, yeah. They, I, I believe they already up. have some 30, rules in the thirty k. Uh, I think Imperial Is it possibly in the Horus Heresy volume? Yeah, the Horus Heresy books. Yeah, that's where they are. Yeah. Um, I'm looking forward to the really, really, really cool Primarchs that will be coming out later. Such as horror. So they're actually doing a 30k universe. Yeah, yeah, the whole thing. It's, it's Forge World's oh. version of 40k. I can't wait to see us. Uh, is it going to be cheaper? No. No, not really. Is it going to have a better rule set? Probably. It's got the prime marks. It should do, but it's got the prime marks. Is it going to sort out most of the problems that 40k and fantasy have? No. It's <laughs> probably going to be a lot more munching. <laughs> Where's that? Um, yeah, this is for the how many Fs I give. <laughs> Excellent. Um, Ford isn't the only people doing uh, teasers. Uh, Drop Zone Commander are also yeah. doing teasers. Uh, all their new models for the different races. So uh, I noticed they've been like small little snippets. It's, it's a little bit. It's like an advent calendar. You get a little window into something, into a new, into a new model. You get a little window, and you've got to guess what it is. Which, bearing in mind they're all new stuff, that's interesting. Yeah. So yeah, they'll be revealed next year. Yeah, yeah, and then, then there'll be loads of new stuff. <laughs> yeah, and, then, <laughs> yeah. and then we will have all the new stuff on set. Um, we did, I think, mention a couple of weeks ago that we'd be talking about Tyranids. We lied. Uh, yeah, we lied because they've not been released. Um, and we th- don't think they're being released until next year. No. Um, so we have to wait. There okay. goes. We, we believe <clears throat> that the January release. Yeah. Don't quote us on that um, because we may be wrong. It's surprising that they probably think are wrong. a lot. Yeah, a lot. Don't quote yeah, probably. Um, it's going to be Bretonians. Yeah, it's, it's surprising that they didn't <laughs> oh! <laughs> them before Christmas, like for yeah. a Christmas release. Little Christmas boxes. Yeah, but I don't know what they're doing. I think you really want to push done the done money done. out of your wallet, but come on, give them some credit. <laughs> If, you, if, you, if it's Christmas time, you've got to buy them. If you've got people to it as well, you, they've only people got limited money. Yeah, they're um, just like, oh, we want to get rid of these boxes that we've had in stock for a while, but we've also got Tyranids. We'll keep the Tyranids back, they can buy all that crap, and then next month's wages, or we're going to buy all the Tyranids. Tyranids. <laughs> they're just sitting there. <laughs> and GW headquarters. <laughs> GW headquarters. <laughs> Oh, uh, this was a brilliant idea. Why haven't we thought of this before? <laughs> Release yeah. everything a month after a big event. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Yeah. All right, so I think, I think that's the show. That's everything. Yep. Yeah. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, make sure to check us out on our website at ttcombat.com. Also check us out on uh, YouTube. Uh, I think the links will all be below. And remember to um, search for Snappy Stencil. Yes. Yeah, search for Snappy yeah. Stencil on Kickstart and pledge. Like, share. Sh- like, share the whole thing. You know. Give me do. suggestions for things to build. Lots of suggestions. Comment on how much you like this as well. Yeah. Right, (laughs) thanks for watching. Asteroid! (laughs) (laughs) You're dead, bud. Game over.